This video is powered by Canada Dry. What is going on guys, it's me Andrew here and this is episode 2 of Andy Explains. Um, episode 1 will be down in the description below so you guys can go check it out. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to be talking about today is um, the different types of Ethernet cables that there are. Now um, I'm going to be mainly focusing on what and uh, crossover Ethernet cable is and the uses of it. I'll make a video later on how to actually use this, but um, to make one is it's not complicated. But I don't have the tools on um, me since I did make this um, this Ethernet uh, crossover cable in grade ten, so I don't have the tools on me. I made it in class, and uh, um, yeah, I'll just link a video to show you guys how to create it. Um, so pretty much is that when you have an Ethernet cable, right? They're mainly um, color coded um, blue. Pretty much, if you go around anywhere, if you see a blue cable, that tells you that's an Ethernet cable. Now, of course, it can be colored anything, um, but it's predominantly blue. Um, now, there are two different types of Ethernet cables. Okay, there are what you call straight through, and um, there's three different types of straight through cables. So there's um, T5, T568B straight, um, T568A straight. And T fifty six eight A um, crossover. So there's three different types. Um, what I'm holding right now in my hand is a three fifty. It is the three fifty six eight A crossover cable. And um, the difference between the Ethernet um, regular, the regular um, straight through cable and the crossover cable is that um, these these two ends are completely different. If you look closely, you will see that um, there is a um, color code. Pretty much is that every single wire inside, there are eight wires that transmit different um, data signals. But each eight wires, um, each of the eight wires is um, color coded. Um, so there you have um, white, white, green, green, um, white, orange, blue, um, white, blue, orange, and um, white, brown, and brown. So yeah. Um, with a crossover cable, uh, you guys can tell that I see right there at the bottom, there is a pretty much a crisscross. So this is the um, the crossover end, and this is the straight through end. But you guys can see that it just goes straight up. You see that? Um, but what the main purpose of these crossover cables is um, to connect um, two computers together without a router or a hub. And um, this would be really useful, same. Uh, you, you're going on a trip with your friend and you guys have like say a laptop and you have uh, a LAN game like let's say Minecraft or Halo or whatever game on your PCs and you guys don't pretty much have a space for any hub just pull out your cable connect um, one one end to his um, your friend's uh, computer your and then another end to your computer and it pretty much forms a network between the two computers just like that without a the need of um, a router or a hub and um, you can use this to share files pretty much that's what I use this for I don't use it to play games I like to share files between um, two computers and depending on how fast your um, the network card in your computer or both computers are you can pretty much transfer files at tremendous speeds so if you have gigabit LAN um, between the two devices you can pretty much go and transfer files um, very very quickly between two um, devices over pretty much a simple Ethernet cable and it's pretty amazing the stuff that you can do with this right so um, with a with um, oh another thing you can do with this is that you can connect um, uh, this one end to a hub and another end to a hub so you can pretty much link hubs together and um, with regular straight through cables um, what these are used for is pretty much um, they're not used to share files or anything they're nothing special they're just used as patches or just to, like link your computer to a router or your computer to a, um, a modem um, you can't use them to tra um, just pretty much uh, share data or anything like that they're just regular standard Ethernet cables that you connect to like let's say your your modem and then back to your computer so um, yeah that's about the difference oh about the parts is that you have this little this this um, blue little shielding that protects all the wires inside like I said that there are eight different wires inside this cable and the end connector of this is called an RJ45 connector and if they're really cheap uh, and over here it has these um, golden pins that 
when, once you um, have inserted all the uh, wires in, you use a crimper and you pretty much crimp it down. And it just um, sinks the teeth into the each wire so that it transmits the data from these, the end in or the end into your computer. Um, but yeah, that is about it. So I'm going to post a whole bunch of pictures on the screen right now and show you guys the difference between um, the color code and, and what it means. All right. So. All right, guys. So what you guys are currently looking at is the different layouts for um, Ethernet crossover cables or Ethernet cables, I mean. Uh, so the first one right there is the A standard. And you guys can tell that it does have its own unique layout. And so there's the B standard. The A standard was ratified in 2000 and, um, no, 1995, and the, it was replaced by the B standard in 2001, 2002. Uh, you guys can tell that the, pretty much the main difference between these two cables and um, the uh, crossover cable is that the crossover cable, one end of it has the A standard um, layout, and the other end has the B standard layout. So you guys can see right here, um, one end is straight through and the other end is crossover, meaning that each cable crosses over. Um, you guys can tell that the green the green um, wire crosses over from uh, TX2 to 6RX and pretty much the orange crosses over from 6 to 2 um, TX minus. So you guys can see pretty much see that. The only difference is that um, the way that you can remember the layouts is that one has the A standard layout and the other one has the B standard layout. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there will be a video in the description to, to, um, how to, on how to do this. So you guys can go ahead and click that and if you want to create your own cable, you can do so. So yeah guys, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.